This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and today she wants to work on the feeling of the transitions was one of her things so we're using the steps to connection and half halts. All right Trudy. So we're going to prepare for a, for a halt. The first thing you have to do is make sure softly, softly she's loosened in her jaw. So check the left side. When you pick up your left rein feel her come under your seat. Now pick up your right rein and have her come under your seat. There. Feel that? Yeah. That's it. Now feel it all the way through. Then bring her, make sure her jaw's loose. Have her shoulders come up. Slowly take your time. At least 10 steps to a halt. That was nice preparation. Did you feel the difference? Yeah. Alright, now we're going to get ready to walk. So think, supple her jaw first. Make sure she's loose. Just a little at a time. Good, good. That's it. Good. Did you feel anything different? Right. So what we're doing is we're making sure she's connected first and then we're adding the feeling of the half halt with your body. All right. Bring your head up with your outside rein. Softly pick it up. Good. Prepare for a halt. Softener on the inside. Softener on the outside. Think half halt with your body by breathing in. Feel the breath go up your chest through your shoulder blades, back through your seat, down to your lower leg. And praise her. Good. It's all right. Now you'll notice when she comes to the halt, she'll halt and she'll be supple, soft to the rain, and then she'll start pushing her nose up. So that's where you want to softly just say, stay here with me. Stay here. Good. Take your time. Take your time. Make everything softer. You can feel she walk through your aid just a little bit there, right? Yep, and that's okay. Her nose is going to, all their noses pop up at first because she's really just started to connect. All right, use your outside rein and leg to bring her pole up. So if the pole drops down below the neck, you use your outside aids to help her bring it up. Good. Now we're going to add a little shoulder four to this feeling so we can balance her a little different, all right? So we're going to prepare for a halt with the shoulder four. You're going to use your outside rein and leg to bring her shoulder over. Hold her with your inside leg slightly. Check that she's soft on both sides of the rein. Good. Now keep her because you'll feel here's where she disconnects. It's not a bad thing. We've really never been that picky about it, right? So take your time and see if at the halt you can get her to connect with you. Take your time. Praise her. Keep her pole up high. Good, good. Do you feel how she's picking you up a little different when you walk away? And it's only going to be a little different because it's a big, it, this is a lot of focus. So now you're thinking every step. Watch her pull. When you're ready, you're going to bring her shoulder in. That'll be more outside rein and leg. That's right. And at first, she, you know, she might pop her head up a little bit because she's not used to going on a contact like we're asking her to do now. Take your time. Feel like she sits down on her inside hind. Good. Soften her jaw. Praise her. Good. Take your time. Let her sit. Make sure she's loose all the way from her jaw to her pole to where your hands are. Keep her pull up. Good. You feel her starting to pick you up a little different? And it'll just be a little bit at first, but that's a, that's a big thing. Good. Let's do walk trot. And we don't care if she pulls the reins out of your hands at first. She's not rooting. Staying connected and on the contact is new to her. So before this, uh, Annie was pretty much, we were riding her like a green horse on a, on a long, loose rein. And now we're asking her to go more into a training first level frame, which means that we're getting, asking for a little bit more feel of the rain from Trudy's legs. Ooh, it's starting to rain. Take your time. It's <laughs> all right. Take your time. Less with your hands. That's it. Less with your hands. Think with your seat and legs. It's all right. Take your time. She's just trying to understand what you want her to do now. Feel the freedom she gives you for that second. You might have to give her a lighter rein to start. Because this is so new to her, connecting through the rein. So go ahead and give her a looser rein so she can trot the first time without a contact. That's it. We're going to start with half halts or half steps. So start slowing down the steps of her trot. Good, good praiser. Even though she disconnected, you can feel she chose to do that transition, right? She did. 
and that's all right. Now she's going to get fussy with the mouth because she's like, what is this you have in contact with my mouth stuff? Take your time. Make the rain as light as you can. Good, good. Now think of your downward transition, the half halt, breathing in so it comes through your stomach, through lifting up your chest, through your shoulder blades. Think of halting her more with your body than with your rein. Just an even feel on both reins and see if she'll start listening to your body. Praise her when she does. Good. Did you feel how you were lighter on the rein? Yeah, had to be. Had to be. Now what did you feel was different when you did that for her? That's right. She stayed more underneath of herself and less resistance. So softer on the rein. Softer on the rein. You're just going to feel both sides of the mouth. That's all. That's it. So just feel. Yep. Even when you're asking her to soften, you're going to just play with Melody. Can you feel my soft rein? And you're going to ride her more from your seat and legs. Good, good. Take your time. Shoulder four. Ride her more with your seat and legs. Point your belly button in the direction you want her to go. Good. Right there, get a little softer with your inside rein. You're going to give a little bit. Good, good. Feel how loose she got? Good. Pull up. So you might have to give a little on your outside rein to get the pull up. It's such a different thing when you're working with teaching a horse how to have the contact. It's well, You never know if you have to give or take. So right now you just explore. If she gets fussy when you're not giving enough, it's because she doesn't really know how to go from your leg to the rein like she will yet. Then you give her a tenth of an inch or whatever it needs so she doesn't feel like she's trapped. Good. That's it. Take your time. Do it. That was nice. Did you feel the difference? What did you feel? She, what was different? Well, I'm just staying more underneath me instead of just racing around on the front end. Well, and it wasn't that you were racing around. What you were doing was you were taking up contact a little bit more than she might have needed at that second of time. Right. But now you've lightened your rein and you're feeling where she's connecting. That was pretty. That was nice. Okay, let her have a little walk break. Good girl.